Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today, and I'm asking questions this week about visioning. So all churches that I've been a part of, we, we've gone through a vision process and even revised visions sometimes to, to make sure that we know what we're doing, especially how we're going to go make disciples. And there's some questions I've learned recently that help me understand about what it means to refine that vision. You know, asking, is, is it connecting to the world? Is the vision that we have as the church truly connecting us to the world in such ways that we can make disciples? The next question to ask is this one. Is it compelling? Hmm. In other words, is, is the way that we're going about making disciples, is the way that we say we're going to be the community of God, is the way that we say we're going to be the body of Christ compelling to outsiders, not insiders, but outsiders, compelling to the outsiders in such a way as they go, wow, I want to be a part of that. I've never forgotten this moment. Uh, I watched, I believe it was uh, on YouTube, I saw it where a guy was talking about a, a plane ride that he was on. And he was a pastor like, like I am, and, he, and he, he said he wanted to be a little sneaky because, you know, when you sit on the plane, what do you do? You say, hey, my name's so-and-so. What do you do for a living? I, this is what I do. What do you do for a living? And he thought about it, and he said, I want to make this, this grand. And so he talked about how, how, you know, he was a part of a multinational organization that did orphanages and hospitals and, and fed people and clothed people, educated people so that they would be better, helped nations to get better morality and, and helped them see that they could be better tomorrow than they were today. And, and by the end of his his whole spiel about it, the lady next to him was like, "Wow, what kind of where do you work?" And he said, "The church." You see, what he did there was he made it compelling. He made it not. It, it wasn't being a snake oil salesman of lying. He was talking to her in a language that let her know that what we do is important. It has purpose. It has meaning. It's compelling. It's something that's exciting. You know, every time I go to church on Sunday morning, I'll be honest with you, there's a part of me that says, why aren't we excited? Especially now during the season of Easter. I mean, we should be like on fire thumping because Pentecost Sunday is coming and Christ is risen. How much more compelling can it get than to say that death is is gone and no longer the ruler that we can be beyond the hopeless situations in life. We have a compelling message, but is the vision that's sharing that compelling message also compelling? Make sure it is so that we can do this better together.